years ago, I was hired to fly out to New Jersey to install a new sump that I'd built. And so I built the sump and a separate refugium and I shipped them carefully via FedEx ground. And then I hopped on a plane and flew out there and expected to get there and have them waiting. <laughs> Which of course they were not, they were not there on time. So here's the tank, it's really big, it's almost 500 gallons. And this was the current setup that uh, it just, it was a lot going on in a couple of very tiny closets underneath that monster aquarium. The sump was much too small for what they needed and it really just needed to be updated. It needed to be something custom. The shocking thing about this setup was that pump right there. It put out so much noise and vibration that when you were upstairs, you could feel the handrails of the staircase shaking. It was so incredibly loud. This was a chiller that's in an adjacent cubby hole under the staircase. And we just had to pull everything out and put everything in. And I basically had 12 hours to get this install completed before I had to catch my flight home. The first step is making sure you have plenty of water for the new setup and then tear out everything that's in the way and start installing all the brand new things. Now, we worked as quickly as we could that night. I had my friend AJ there. And as we did everything, we really didn't take very many pictures because our hands were busy. But uh, I did manage to get a few shots and a few video clips. And so you'll get kind of a bird's eye view of what's going on. There's one of the boxes. Uh, that's the sump box. And uh, there's the old sump. And there is the refugium box. And there is the sump box. We actually had to drive across the state to a FedEx facility to demand they give us our boxes because I needed them before I had to fly home or the trip was a waste. There's the sump and the refugium on the right. They are installed on top of pink foam. I don't even remember the dimensions of these. <laughs> they had a double sock hanger that's seven inches, a couple of drains that came in. We didn't change any of the plumbing coming down from the tank, but we did want to do a demonstration of how I glue PVC pipe together on uh, any project I do. And this is exactly how I do it every single time. So I use the clean primer on both halves of what I'm going to assemble. And then I use the uh, Odie's all-purpose cement, and I put that on both parts. I press the two parts together, and I twist about an eighth of an inch, so it kind of smears the glue inside the seam. And then I hold it for about 20 seconds, and after that I can wipe away the excess glue, and then I move on to the next joint. And I just do this, and do this, and do this until the job is done. I highly recommend you work over a big piece of cardboard or some kind of drop cloth, some kind of sheeting, because if you drip or spill any of the stuff, it could craze the acrylic of your project and we don't want to ruin the actual final product. Now that the gluing is done, you can kind of see it ready to fire up. We had to wait a couple of hours to let the glue cure inside the pipes, but we have a reef waiting above and I'm about to leave town. Uh, a lot of nice gear went into the system. There's an IO skimmer. There is the Abyss return pump. Of course, all the custom work by Mila's Reef. We went ahead and installed the Apex controller on there to be able to handle the system. And while the wiring is not super tidy, it's a lot better than the rat's nest that it was before. Cable management is not something that I had time to stick around for. We also eliminated the chiller and instead put a top-off container under the stairs with the RODI system, which is a Milo's Reef 150 gallon a day system. The tank itself is 72 inches long, 66 inches high, and 24 inches wide. It's 493 gallons in that display tank. And there's a lot of rock work at the bottom. There's a couple of really big fish in there. I believe that guy's a Dusamiri. And uh, then, of course, as we head down the stairs, you'll get to see where these closets are, where all the, the gear is. The first thing you notice is you don't hear anything. And I didn't record it, but I didn't record the sound of the humming, vibrating sound from before either. But everything is super quiet right now. The homeowner thought that the return pump wasn't even on. That's how quiet the abyss is. And it's a super powerful pump that can handle pushing straight up this vertical height. Uh, this is the A400. As with any system, brand new plumbing that's just been glued will be a little bit noisy initially. It takes about 14 days for things to slime over internally to where water flows from one section to the other quietly. Uh, in the case of the refugium, water going out the overflow box and out the drain in the back, it was a little slurpy, but that could be dialed in as well. It needs macroalgae at this point. 
This setup includes probes and sensors to report anything that might not be right to keep the system happy. It has cooling fans, there is a waste collector for the skimmer, and of course the sock area is covered to keep any spatter from getting on the walls. The former sump definitely was ruining the paint inside that closet. So this is a very tidy, clean setup, and we did it in record time. I should mention at this point, I do not do tank installs. <laughs> I prefer to just build the products and ship them to my customers. But uh, this was a special case, and I went out there to help out with this project. And it allowed the customer to have a really nice setup, replacing a really bad setup, and be able to enjoy their tank in a much more quiet home. With the current equipment choices, the tank absolutely did not need a chiller anymore. Some cooling fans would be plenty for the system. And additionally, they have Orphec lighting over the aquarium, so there's no heat there. There's no heat coming from the return pump, you know, because we took away the beast and put in the abyss. <laughs> and it just, it gave us space and it decluttered and it removed some extra plumbing and it put a place for their saltwater barrel to sit and a place to stash the RO water that's being topped off. That needs to be hung up. I also wanted to let you know that all three components, the top-off container, the refugium, and the sump were all made with 3 8 cast acrylic because I wanted strength and durability, and of course they're built in a way where it keeps the salt creep within. With that completed, I was back on the plane. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a like, and please do subscribe. See you guys next week.